Hey guys, Geek41 here, and today we're going to be looking at the Papo Contours. Now this is a redo review. Now, if you are subscribed to me and you have seen my Papo Contours review I did back in June, you must be like, why are you doing a redo review on this? Or you might be happy. I was really high pitched in that review and really loud because I was engulfed with excitement and people did not understand that. And I was not really happy about that. Um, yeah. I did not like the way I was high-pitched and loud. And I apologize for that. So today I'm going to be doing a better review on the Paper Contours. Let's look at, let's look at this beautiful representation of the Contours. Um, yeah, this guy is just amazing. Really nice model. Um... I don't know what scale it is, but it's a really good model. The sculpt's good, the paint's good. Um, the paint apps are good. The sculpt is good. Um, detail is very nice. Reminds me of the contours from the, the Disney movie Dinosaurs. That's what I kind of wish this was a... I wish it was painted like that. That'd be really nice. I'd appreciate it. But th we didn't get it. You know, but it's okay. It's okay. Um... You see the little spikes, the, the rows of spikes starting from the tip of the tail, going all the way down. The horns, which were displayed for mating. You know how a uh, peacock, a male peacock displays his horn, his uh, not horns. What am I saying? His um wings. Yeah, that's what this basically means. You know, that's what the population got. And then a stupid meteor came along and destroyed all the dinosaurs. But, you know, it's part of nature. You see, yes, there's a pupus area here. I'm sorry, there was um, a commenter on my other, on my review, on the original Paper Contours review, who gave me the information on this. So I do not remember, remember, bleh, remember your name. The paint apps are nice. He has these little um, dotted spikes here. Overall, really nice cartoons. You got the... Black toes, the nice third pod feet. So you can kind of make make out the skeleton. Really nice, really good. His jaws open. See the gums, see the tongue, the teeth, the eyes, the horns. Really nice. You kind of see his nose. Really cool. Yeah, nothing much else to say. Just good model of a contours. Size comparison. Um, we can look at the, an 8 inch Predator figure from NECA, and make out the comparison that it is really tall compared to him. Yeah. Moving him out of the way. We will take a familiar face, the Allosaurus. You see the Allosaurus is definitely, um, bigger. Not as big, but you know, taller. These got these papal figures that I have, the Allosaurus and Cartoris, are in crouching positions. So their size would be accurate in crouching position, but not when they are fully standing up. People do not understand that. Um, in my Cartoris review, my original one, I had a commenter who was really rude and um, stated that, well, they were they they're crouching, so. You have to remember that, but an source is bigger than contours. So yeah, you were right on that. That's the problem. I do not like the pose that Pippo designed the contours in. Um, I do not like that he's such in a crouching pose. He's really in a deep crouching pose. I'm not really enjoying that. I wish he was standing regular regularly. Maybe he was standing like this, but little Taller, not such in a dynamic pose. Moving Alistair's out of the way because he cannot stand. Putting the contours there. Now, here is a um, Dark of the Moon, Transformers Dark of the Moon, Shockwave, Voyager class figure, who's about 6 or 6.5 six inches. There you go. Yeah. 
really nice. And for randomness, why not? Dare I say why not? Copyright MGO. Um, there is a golden retriever bobblehead. Don't ask why I have that. And here he is compared to a stapler. <laughs> don't ask why I'm comparing that. If you guys don't have figures and just want this for your kid or something, well, there's a stapler. Are you a stapler? And here is a highlighter. I know, random, I'm sorry, but, you know, some people don't collect toys or models and they're probably buying this for the kid and want to see a review before they actually give it to their kid. So, yeah, why not? This is a great model. Um, it's not that sharp, but if a kid was playing with this and he was poking this into his brother or cousin or whatever, somebody's eye, it will hurt them badly. So... Um, be cautious with this fig this model. This isn't really a kid's toy. It's more of a model display. But if you want it, you can have it. Um, freedom, you know. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you like this video, you, c you can like it. If you do not like this video, please, please do not dislike it. Um, just comment saying, I'm sorry, I do not like this video, or I don't like this video. That's enough. Um, do not comment really rude. Because I don't like when people comment rudely. I think it's really arrogant and really bad. Um, because I'm not, I'm a I'm a good guy, you know. I just I'm a good kid, eighth grader, not bad. So if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. If you don't, well, it's all right. I can understand. But yeah, um, this is a great figure. I highly recommend it. Uh, I bought him off Amazon. I purchased it. I purchased him off Amazon for. Roughly to thirty-three dollars. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Um, I was desperate at the time, and I think he's gone down in price. You can check on Amazon. Um, this review has gone s for seven minutes now, and I apologize for that. But good, good model, good model. Um, highly recommended. Subscribe if you'd like to. If, if you don't want it, it's alright. It'd be grateful if you could. Um, like this video. Please don't dislike it. Just comment you don't like this video. And yeah. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you find your sources. And this is Geek41 showing this video off. So, Paper Con Taurus, read a review. Yeah. Bye, guys.